Hey guys, it's Kathy with Kathy's Extreme Couponing and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have had an awesome week this week and sorry I didn't get this posted for you guys yesterday, which was Tuesday like I normally do. Got crazy busy and I never got around to making the video, so I wanted to make sure to get it on today so you guys have plenty of time to get to the stores and pick up some awesome deals. I went to CVS and Walgreens this week to go couponing. I thought they had the best deals and I've got several um, deals to go over with you guys, but I wanted to tell you something that I'm kind of I'm hoping that it pans out And I'll know Saturday for sure if it's going to work out for me or not I actually have been working on this for a while and I think I have found a way to get like bulk newspapers delivered to my house uh, which means that I can uh, Give those savings to you guys. I have found that I can get papers with pretty awesome inserts um, for a dollar each and if I can do that you guys can get them for a dollar you may be paying less now I'm not sure but I know our local newspaper is two dollars and fifty cents every Sunday and this is roughly the same price that I'm getting my inserts for so I just thought maybe you guys might be interested I'll do a video on Saturday um, about all the details once I find out for sure what I've got. I have ordered some this week, um, so I'm just going to have to wait and see how that works out. Um, but I'm supposed to get some more information from the, uh, from the newspaper when um, on Saturday morning the lady is going to call me and we're going to talk over it again. So I'll do a video and let you guys know how that ends up. Um, so that if I'm able to have an, an, uh, an excessive amount of newspapers delivered here, I'd be glad to, to um, pass those savings to you guys and ship them out to you because I ship all the time with eBay and Etsy, so it would be no big deal for that to happen. So I'll get back to you on Saturday about that. Now, if you're new to the channel, please note that in the description area below, you're either going to find a breakdown sheet or you're going to find a link to a Google Doc, which will have the, um, my deal sheet broken down. And it has all the information of all the deals that I took advantage of this week at CVS and Walgreens and a couple of extras that they maybe didn't carry the product in my location or or um, I didn't have the coupon. It just depends, um, but I'll have more than what you can see on the table here um, in the deal sheets below. And if there are any printable coupon links that are still valid, I will have those down there as well, so you guys can just click on the link and print those for yourself. And you guys should be able to do all the deals that I did this week. Okay, so let's jump on in to CVS, and I wanted to tell anybody that's new to the channel, um, I do have a friend that does not coupon, and since I, we do not have a local CVS and I have to travel to the next state over, I use her coupon at CVS for any of the deals that she's interested in each week. So if there's a multi deals on the table but the limit is only one that is why is because I carry two CVS cards with me and I just pick up the deals that she wants each week so because I enjoy couponing and she hates it and I just can't imagine it so let's start with the cover girl um, and that is one of the deals that I was talking about this is a limit of one deal per card there are other um, brand names included in this deal but you cannot mix and match and what I did for myself as I had a three dollar off of one printable coupon that I printed like a couple of weeks ago and it still had a valid expiration date but it was three dollars off of one uh, CoverGirl product and I used two of those. These guys were $4.69 at my store and if you purchase two this week at CVS you're gonna get back five dollars in extra care bucks. Um, so I used those on my deal which means I only paid three dollars and thirty-eight cents out of pocket for both of these and then I made $1.62 after I got back the $5 in extra care buck. Now, if you don't have those coupons, there is another printable coupon that is buy one get one free, and that's what I used on the second deal for my friend. Um, these guys are $4.69 at my store, so I used purchase two and I used buy one get one free, which means I paid $4.69 out of pocket at the register for both cover girls, but then I got back the $5 in extra care bucks, which means on the second transaction I made 21 cents. So that was a pretty sweet deal all the way around. This week at CVS, the Colgate Max Toothpaste 6 ounce tube or the 2-in-1 toothpaste, the little bottles. These guys are priced at $2.99 and if you buy one, they're going to give you back $2 in extra care bucks. There is a limit of two deals per card. You're going to cut and use one 
of the 50 cent off of one manufacturer coupon from the Smart Source 311. You'll pay $2.49 at the register for each tube that you purchase, um, but you're going to get back $2 in extra care bucks, which means in the end they're only $0.49 cents each. And there is a limit of two deals per card, so you can pick up two of those. The next deal that I did was um, on the all and the per sale. Now there are other items that are available to uh, incorporate into the deal of spend 20 and get $5 back in extra care bucks. There's a, um, a dollar off of one printable coupon for Snuggle. The dollar off of one all coupon that I used came from the, th the Red Plum 311. And then also in the Red Plum 311, there is a per sale $2 off of one manufacturer coupon. So what happened at the store and how this broke down is I purchased four alls. I have a couple of bottles missing because I, I gave a couple of them away already. And two per sales per card. So I had six detergents on each card. And the total after the $8 in manufacturer coupons was $13.88 that I paid out of pocket, but I got back $5 in extra care bucks. So my final out-of-pocket expense was $8.88 for all six detergents, or $1.48 each, which I think is a pretty great deal um, to, to pay only $1.48 for a bottle of all and, and or a bottle of Persil. So I did that deal twice. Um, the next deal that I picked up was on Gillette Venus Razors. They're regularly priced this week at $8.99. And if you buy two of these guys, you're going to get back $6 in extra care bucks. There's a $2 off of one manufacturer coupon from the um, Procter & Gamble 3-4. So I purchased two of these, and I used two of the manufacturer coupons. Uh, on top of that, I also had a $3 off of $15 CRT for Gillette Razors. So I paid only $10.98 out of pocket for both razors. I got back the $6 in extra care bucks, which means I paid $4.98 for each razor or for two razors or $2.49 each, which is not too shabby. It's not the best price in the world, but it was pretty it's way better than $8.99 a piece. Now the next deal has a limit of four and it's on Irish Spring Body Wash or Bar Soap. Um, the coupons did have a limit that you could only use four like coupons. So I split my deal up and I did it twice. And I did two um, body washes and two bar soaps and then two body washes and two bar soaps. So I did the deal twice and they're $3.99 this week and if you buy three you get back $5 in extra care bucks. Um, I did have a $2 off of $6 CRT for body wash. So on the first deal I paid only $6.97 out of pocket for three and then I got back $5 in extra care bucks. Um, so I only paid $1.97 for all three products, or $0.66 cents each. Now, if you don't have the $2 off of $6 CRT, you'll pay $8.97 at the register for three of them. You'll get back the $5 in extra care bucks. Um, in the end, you only pay $1.33 for each if you, if you do not have the $2 off of $6 CRT. Now, I did pick up the Downy, and you know, for the life of me, I did not write that down, nor do I know... But I got this for another friend of mine, so I will have the breakdown of the downy in the description area below. I just completely lost train of thought on that, and I have no notes on it whatsoever. Um, so I'll have that information down the, in the description area as well. So let's move to Walgreens. Now at Walgreens, I had a little bit of a de uh, problem at Walgreens this week. Um, these are Walgreens coupons. They are in um, our little booklet that they put, print out um, each week and there is on page 32 there's a dollar off um, of Garnier Hoblin shampoo and conditioner and this will um, ring up twice for you but in, at my home store they were actually ringing up instead of a Walgreens coupon it was ringing, ringing up as a manufacturer coupon so I wasn't able to use this one I, I used my two dollar off of one printable um, coupons for Whole Blends Garnier Shampoo. So I purchased four of these guys and this week if you buy two um, they're only $3.50 each and then I used two of the $2 off of one printable coupons. Um, I only paid $1.50 out of pocket. If the uh, what how it's supposed to break down at the register because I really to honesty I don't know what I paid at the register for these because I did an overall because I was trying to spend $25 because I had a um, 7,000 point um, bonus point coupon from Walgreens to use if I spent $25 so I had to purchase these. Um, 
in the end it was the best deal for me but if but if your store is ringing up correctly on the monthly savings book coupon what you're going to want to do is grab two of those and use two of the two dollar off of one printable coupons and then let them scan that um, Walgreens coupon from the booklet and that will ring up twice so you'll get an additional two dollars off on your deal which means you're only going to pay 50 cents each when you purchase two of those now i need to look up and make sure that walgreens hasn't changed a policy a policy of something on the coupons regarding their little booklet coupons um, because i'm pretty certain those should have not rung up that way at my store i hope it works out for you guys at your location um, the next deal that i did at walgreens was on purex detergent these guys are on sale for a dollar 99 this week um, they there is a 50 cent off of one manufacturer coupon in the Red Plum 311. I had four of those, so I, I just grabbed four Purexes. Uh, and after that coupon, you pay $1.49 for each bottle of Purex. Now, the other deal I wanted to share with you guys um, at Walgreens is turkey bacon. We live on turkey bacon. I, I haven't had real bacon in over a year since we lost all of our weight and changed our eating habits. Um, so I eat a lot of turkey burgers and turkey bacon, and this is um, only 99 cents this week at Walgreens, which is a great price in and of itself, but I had some 55 cent off of coupons. I had three of them from Butterball Turkey, and I'm not sure they're available, but I will check their site to see if they have those for you guys, but I only paid 44 cents for each um, package of turkey bacon, so I got three of those, which I'm pretty excited about. That was an awesome saving. Also, another deal, and I needed to pick up fillers. Now, these are pretty expensive fillers, but I love Laura Bars, and they were on sale four for five dollars at Walgreens. So, I picked up four of these guys, um, and I had extra coupons. And at Walgreens, you must have a item for each coupon. So, if I have ten coupons, I have to have ten items. And I had, excuse me, I had several, like two or three more coupons than items that I had this week. So the Lara bars really worked out for me as far as being able to add those on for fillers and get something that we all like. Now let's go to my whiteboard and see what happened at the register. Um, at CVS this week I purchased $215.28 of retail product. I only paid $38.27 out of my pocket and I got back $25 in extra care bucks which means I only spent $13.27 as an ending out of pocket expense at CVS. At Walgreens, my total retail was $53.04. My out-of-pocket expense was $20.08 at the register. I got back 7,270 bonus balance reward points, um, which means it's, it's equivalent to $7.27. So in the end, I only paid $12.81 out of my pocket for everything that I purchased at Walgreens. Now my trip total, um, I got $268.32 worth of retail product this week for an ending out of pocket expense for only $26.08. I purchased 48 items for only $0.54 cents each. So I think it's an awesome week for you guys to go shopping at CVS and Walgreens. I'll have all the information that I just went over in the description area below. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That just does so many great things for me as far as my YouTube channel goes. You guys don't know how much I appreciate you watching these videos, commenting, leaving thumbs up, sharing. If you guys know anybody that you know needs help or just ideas about where to keep on and what's going on this week, please feel free to share this video. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I love new subscribers. Um, you guys, I will have any printable links to any printable coupons that I can find that are awesome also in the Google Doc in the description area below and I will get a video up tomorrow morning um, of a Coffee Talk. I'm not sure how many of those I can do in the morning but I'll get as many as I can out there for you guys and then Saturday is when I'll be able to actually let you know what's going on with my newspaper deal and hopefully I'll be able to pass those savings to you guys and I'm so tickled about that so I'm hoping in the end that all works out so I'll let you guys know and I'll talk to you real soon bye